I'm here in New York City at the premiere of the new Netflix show, King of Collectibles, The Golden Touch. And there's $40 million worth of collectibles in this room we're about to see, plus many hobby celebrities who we're gonna talk to now. I hope is really big for the industry. It brings our industry and collectibles to a worldwide audience. 32 languages, 190 countries. But here's the biggest thing, the biggest message I can give you all. Every one of you go to your TV screen, turn on Netflix, put on episode one, and let it roll over <laughs> through episode ah! six. I'm with the man of the hour. It is Ken Golden, the star of King of Collectibles, The Golden Touch on Netflix. Ken, this has got to be a massive night for you. Oh, it's it's very impressive. Happy all these people came out to celebrate, and I need everybody to watch it on Netflix. Go right now on Netflix and watch the show, all six episodes. One thing I will tell you is you will not believe what Mike Tyson saved from the early 1990s. You will just not believe what he has to bring to my office to consign to Golden. I think it's honestly gonna bring a renaissance to say, wow, this stuff is cool. Whether you have something from 50 years ago, there is a market for it, and there's a lot of people around the world doing it. And here's here's an expert. Hey, hey, hey here we go. We get, we, get, we get little Golden here. Are you excited about the show? Yes. Are you in the show, Paul? Yes, but I wish I was in a lot more. Tell me what I, you did in the show. Tell I, me what you did. Um, I opened Pokemon. We were looking for a first edition Charizard and it was with Logan Paul. <laughs> with Logan Paul. We opened up Pokemon packs with Logan Paul. That's that's not a bad way to start. All right, we're going to go look at some of those items now. I know the audience is going to want to see them. Ken, congratulations Thank on the you, show. Man, Cannot sure. wait to watch. Absolutely. Thank you. Take care. See you in season two. Oh, I hope I, <laughs> you heard it right there, folks. We'll see. Hey guys, I'm here with Dave from Golden. He's one of the stars of King of Collectibles, but today he's going to show us these incredible items that they have here on display. $40 million in items. It's nuts. Dave, let's start off. This is not what I expect to see normally in like a sports collectibles show, but tell me what this is. Well, the idea with the Golden 100, all these items are in the Golden 100 auction. We wanted something from every genre. We got the Netflix show, so we're going to have a large audience. So right here, from one of the most popular movies of all time, Titanic. This is Kate Winslet's dress from the big scene. Wow. Yeah, right there. That's that's huge that's movie. That's her dress that she wore in the movie. That's right. You know, with the Golden 100, we want like the biggest and best thing. So you know, we got a little of everything. And talk about iconic. Yeah. Come now we're now we're talking my language. We got a little sports going on yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah. Again, want the biggest and best of everything. We got Kobe 2010 Finals jersey. Wow. I wow. Mean, that's incredible. Huge. LeBron Finals jersey as well, Cavaliers. And then, I mean, these might be the biggest piece right here, the blue shoes. This is Jordan, one of Jordan's biggest games. And we've seen his shoes go for two million recently. Could these go for five million? I mean, we don't these, know. These are the shoes that he wore in the infamous blue game, where, he, where people didn't even think he was gonna play, but yeah. he came out and had the game of his life. Right, right. The victory. He didn't even think he was gonna play, and then he gifted the shoes to the ball boy after they took a photo. And then we got some comics, right? We got some pop culture. So you got Detective Comics number 27, Batman first appearance, Amazing Fantasy 15, Spider-Man. All right, so right here we got the Dream Team stuff. So all these items come directly from one of the players, Carl Malone's collection. It's also gonna be featured in our Netflix show as well. So you got Larry Birds. This is from the 92 Dream Team. These are their jerseys. Oh my gosh, signed yeah. jersey, signed yeah. shoes. So these all photo matched. We have all 12 players, jerseys and shoes. So the whole auction is just gonna be 24 lots. This is this is Bird and Ewing, insane. And of course, I mean, how can it be a Golden 100 without a Ty Cobb game use bag? That's probably a seven figure bag right there. Actually, that definitely is. Unbelievable, the amount of just history in this room right here and in the Golden 100 auction is unbelievable. Dave, thanks for showing this to us, man. This is awesome. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the show. I can't wait to see it. Thanks, man. Appreciate Absolutely. it. All right, guys. I'm here with Michael Rubin, the founder of Fanatic. So uh, this is a pretty big event for the hobby here. Are you excited about the show? Yeah, how could you not be excited about the show? It's uh, you know Ken's been such an advocate for the hobby, and to see him 
you know, kind of everything he's done come to light, come to screen is super exciting. It's great for the hobby. It's going to introduce new people to what we're all about. And so I think it's great, not good. Yeah. Give it. Give us one thing. Final question. Give us one thing we can get excited about or look forward to the rest of this year. One thing collectors can get excited about. Look, I think you've already seen it with the marketing of Series 1 and Bowman. That's like we're 1% of what we want to do. That's going to every release. We're going to have really good marketing behind it. I think the product innovation you saw in baseball, that's coming other places too. So the patch on the jersey, we, we've just begun. That's not, uh, that's not the end state. That's the beginning state. Well, we're excited about it wherever it leads. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. And now a case of collectibles that's very familiar to me. It's full of some unbelievably high-end trading cards. Guys, look at this. First of all, it starts right up top here. The 2004-2005 Exquisite Collection Dual Logo Man LeBron and Kobe one of one. They both signed this card. That is an unbelievable one of one gem having LeBron and Kobe on the same card in a logo man to boot. But we're not done with that. You got an unbelievable PSA 10 of the 1980-81. The card that's considered Larry Bird's rookie card. That's considered Magic Johnson's rookie card. You also have Dr. J on the card as well. That is impossible to find in a PSA 10. The population on that, I, I think, is less than 30. Extremely high-end card there. Of course, you got a beautiful Hank Aaron rookie, PSA 9. For our Magic collectors out there, you've got the Black Lotus. You've got a beautiful 52 Mantle, PSA 8. A Sandy Koufax rookie, PSA 9. An unbelievable Mike Trout red refractor from 2009. First prospect auto there, uh, PSA 10. And then the big daddy of LeBron cards. You've got his 2003 Upper Deck Exquisite RPA. That is the card that so many LeBron collectors chase. It's unbelievable that all of these are in the same auction on Golden. But what great timing with this show going out right now. It's going to bring a lot of attention to the sports card market and all of these cards, plus so many more. Hey guys, I'm here with one of the stars of King of Collectibles, Alex Jaimo, also now of the MLB Network. Congratulations. Thank you, Jeff. I'm really excited about it. I've, I've dreamed of being on that channel since I'm 14 years old. I want to I want to ask you more about the show, but first of all, we're standing next to something pretty epic. Tell me what this is. I mean, I thought I had the best costume in the, the whole party, but George Reeves apparently wore this don't call me on it, but in the 1950s, 1960s, during a Superman series television show. It's like 250 to 500 k That's how valuable it is. I mean, that's certainly a piece of history. D definitely. So, so, Alex, tell me about your role in the show. I haven't been able to announce it, but I am the official narrator of the show. Um, Jeff, I'm super stoked, especially because I'm a woman, and to represent not only the hobby, but, you know, sports industry in general, Pretty cool. Man, you're living your best life right now. Yeah. Congratulations. Hey guys, I'm here with sports business reporter and internet personality, Darren Robel. You guys, of course, know Darren. Everybody knows Darren. We're gonna talk about some of these items, but what do you think of like the show and the attention that's coming into the sports collectible space now? Uh, just a different storytelling, how Golden uh, acquires pieces and the people who bid on them and the people who have them. I think you know everyone's gotten the documentary treatment and now it's time for our industry to get ours. I love it. I think that's absolutely right. Now we're standing here in front of a case of what of some pretty iconic items. So this unbelievably so is Michael Jordan's 1992 Olympic Dream Team jersey. That's Magic Johnson's. You've also got Jordan shoes, you've also got Magic shoes. What do you think of this? Uh, this is unbelievable. I mean these are great pieces. And the game use market has finally come around. You know, in the card market, we've seen the logo mans go crazy, sell for one to two million dollars. And people who had game use stuff would always say, "Well, why does the whole thing sell for a hundred thousand? The actual whole game use piece with photo match is finally coming around, and the numbers are really being seen. So at this time, it's a great time to sell. I don't know about buy, but definitely to sell. Great to see you, man. Appreciate right. it. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you are on Instagram, you know this guy. This is Shine, and he is one of the biggest collectors out there. Shine150 on Instagram. So what do you think of the state of the hobby right now? We're in some interesting times right now. Obviously, the market's soft. So I think 
right now is an excellent time for people you know, outside investors to come in and position themselves and start you know buying it up i think it's going to come back when we don't know yeah. you know but right now buying yeah i I'm, I'm doing that i'm excited about the future all right so final question we're obviously here at ken golden's party king of collectibles now out on netflix how do you think how do you think this show might affect the industry overall i think it's great it's exposure you know there's going to be people sitting on the couch watching it that didn't even know this industry was so big they just missed it this is going to help bring some more people back into the space and, and, and give it the exposure. So. Awesome. There he is, guys. The man, the myth, the legend, Shine150. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. And that's a wrap, which means it is your moment right now to go over to Netflix and watch King of Collectibles, The Golden Touch. It is out right now, and it is awesome. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and we'll see you soon for our next episode. Take care.